Recording live. Hey guys, welcome to Overthinker Society. My name is Sue and I make music. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Um, this is a little like vlog kind of podcast series where I pick a random subject, a certain subject each week and just kind of go down the rabbit hole with it. Um, you know, over topics that I think is worth just pondering over with um, and just completely go down the rabbit hole with it. This week, I wanted to um, just kind of lighten things up a little bit and talk about something that's uh, just a little less serious. Um, you know, I thought so far the topics that we've covered have been quite, you know, heavy and quite serious. So this week, you know, felt like, you know, we could use a bit of nonchalant and lightheartedness and, you know, something, something to, you know, ponder over while having your usual meals. Just have a little fun. Um, so this week I wanted to talk about little, tiny, mundane, um, everyday things in life that bring me a lot of joy. Um, I wouldn't call them like fetishes because <laughs> they're supposed to be sexual, but I guess like along the same lines in the sense that um, these are like quite trivial, unusual, maybe um, and maybe a little um, like weird. I don't know. You guys can tell me after hearing them, um, you know, little unusual things that bring me a lot of satisfaction in life. So yeah, just kind of want to talk about little things that bring a lot of happiness. Um, so where do, where do I begin? Okay. Um, so many things that I can name. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to have to talk about this because, because it's, it's just, it's just the best in the world, but, but let, let's just talk about cat teeth. Cat teeth. It just, just how great are they? <laughs> just cat teeth are, are great. You know, I've, I've never, I've never owned a cat before, um, nor any like kind of family pet, um, you know, dogs, you know, cats or like, I don't know, llamas, turtles, I don't know. Um, I did own two goldfish at one point um, when I was a tiny little kid. Um, I don't remember much of it though, um, except for the fact that I named uh, one Kruno and the other Crusade after like my favorite anime at the time. Um, so anyways, back to the cat. Um, so because I never raised a cat before, I, I, nev I was never really aware of this particular anatomy of a cat um, until someone on Instagram, I think, DM'd me like a cat meme, um, which was like a picture of someone holding up a cat uh, holding up the upper lip of a cat, of a kitten, and it was just kind of doing this. <laughs> um, and it was just, it was just showing the frontal teeth of, of that kitten. And oh my god, it was like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Who would have thought that cats actually have like tiny little like set of teeth of like six of them, I think? They're like tiny, really small. And then on, on the either side, they have like the the usual like sharp fangs, I guess. Um, I, I guess I've seen cats yawn before, but I, I never really paid much attention to how tiny and cute their front teeth were until until that point. Uh, but yes, I I uh, I have been obsessed with uh, the cuteness of a cat's frontal teeth ever since. And to be honest, I'm I'm just obsessed with cats in general, I guess. Um, and, and I'm one of those people who would gladly, gladly, um, become one of those like cat ladies who, when I become an elderly and raise like 12 cats, um, and read, read them books all day long, I I'll gladly be a crazy cat lady. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, another tiny obsession of mine that that bring me a lot of joy is I think it would be note taking. Um, I obsessively take notes, like like borderline obsessive. And and yes, I do keep kind of like a personal uh, note of all kind of my crazy wildest 
kind of dreams um, and very like very much aspirational and like motivational but I also keep at least like like eight other categories of of different sets of notes um, and yes they need to be categorized um, I take notes mostly on my phone I can't really I can't really like show them to you guys because I'm actually recording on my phone camera right now but um, but uh, I have like several uh, like categories of notes that I keep track of in the background of my of my phone where it's like some of them are like you know like I said career like goals motivational stuff but also like you know they're also like life lessons learned um, in my life along the way and um, there's also a note <laughs> where I just write down all the all my favorite foods. Whenever I just try some new food, I, I'm like, you know, I really like this. I'll take, I'll take that down. Um, or uh, I do keep an occasional dream journal where I just write down uh, some weird dreams that I had last night, which is just fun. I think it's fun when I when I remember uh, my dreams. It happens quite rarely. Um, I wish it happened more often. I quite like it when I remember my dreams. Uh, but yeah, so when I do remember my dreams when I wake up, I do take notes of it. I don't know why. I just like I just like reading through them later on. Um, what else? Oh, also another good one. Um, I do keep a note on... Um, I call them like my feel-good notes. And I jot down all the things that make me feel good. You know, like... You know, my, my favorite movies, my favorite books, um, my favorite animation, my, you know, my favorite people, uh, my favorite thoughts, my favorite food, my favorite, you know, all my favorite stuff and, and things that make me feel good. And I call them feel good notes so that I, I kind of read through them whenever I feel down and it really, really helps just, just by thinking about it or, or actually, you know, watching these, these movies or books or, or, or talking to these people, but just, just keeping a note, um, in general of the things that made me feel good. It, it, I find that it helps a lot because you don't necessarily remember like all the things that bring you joy. If you know what I mean, like you, you tend to forget until like there's a reminder, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I really, really enjoy keeping, uh, notes of all things going on in my life. It's kind of like writing a diary, I guess, but, uh, but more structured, I guess, um, and intuitive in ways. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, it brings me a lot of joy. Um, it really does. I really love taking notes. It just, you know, you know, I feel like I'm just kind of archiving my, my life rather than than just living it away sometimes you just kind of remember a particular memory or something just in the past um that's that was uh, that had some level of prominence and you think like damn i can't believe i was forgetting about that you know um and it makes you want and it makes you like i don't know if it's it's just me but it makes me wonder like it makes me kind of anxious that there might be other things other memories are there things in life that I might be you know missing out on that I might have like forgotten about that you know that could bring me that extra level of joy or extra level of you know um, happiness or, or security or just kind of feel good anything so yeah I like I like just taking notes of them all um, try to encapsulate and capture every moment as possible and categorize them in, in a sensible way if that makes sense um and and that's kind of in a way that's kind of ironic because I used to hate taking notes in schools during classes um I never really understood my own notes um during revision uh just like ended up doodling on people's faces and like filling filling in uh like the circles and the o's and the blanks um, that was my go-to method of, of spending uh, my hours during class. Um, yeah, so I used to like doodle a lot more than actual, like actually taking notes and stuff. 
But yeah, for some reason, I, I really love writing down stuff and keeping track of stuff that, that I care about in, in my personal life. Um, and it brings me a lot of joy. Um, another thing that I really love, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's the particular sound or the actual like experience itself but I find it so satisfying to like walking barefoot on wooden floors. Does that resonate with any of you guys? Does it? I feel like it would. Um, I don't know. I, and also, I don't know if I can say the same thing about like walking barefoot on like on grass and like outdoors, which a lot of people find satisfaction from as well. Um, probably for me mainly because I hate, I, I, I would be terrified of stepping on bugs. <laughs> I'm terrified of bugs, to be honest with you. Um, so I can't say the same thing with like walking barefoot on grass, but there's something real, there's something really lovely about, um, walking on wooden floors, um, specifically. Um, okay, okay, well, hold on, hold on. Wait, I take that back because I, I'll say it again because it has to be running <laughs> on wooden floors, not walking. For some reason, like, it has to be running, not walking um, on wooden floors. I mean, I guess, like, walking on wooden floors is amazing, too. It's better than not walking on wooden floors at all. But running would be preferred over walking for some reason. <laughs> Um, I don't know what, I don't know why, maybe it's like this weird, like, muscle memory thing where, uh, growing up, I, I lived in homes with, I lived in a lot of homes with, like, wooden floors, and, and I was a kid that ran around a lot. I was a very bouncy kid, so, um, and I, I also had a lot of good memories running around. <laughs> Um, and I remember I also like went on a trip as a kid once to Japan with my family and um, we went to this like Japanese spa where um, they had this like amazing beautiful like wooden um, temple that we could go after taking the bath and it was amazing. It was like it had a lovely view of the mountains and, 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 and a beautiful decor and, of course, wooden floors. Of course, that was a must. Um, but yeah, so it's like, yeah, maybe it was like a, it's like, you know, maybe it's like this muscle memory thing where it's like, you know, having a lot of good memories um, like these and, um, you know, as a kid um, and that led me to me now being like wooden floor running good <laughs> kind of thing um but i don't know it's just like <laughs> it's just this like thought of running bare barefoot on nice like aromatic wooden like oaky floor that just brings a lot of like warmth in my heart you know the thumping sound the the smell and just just the general experience i'm, I'm getting way into this <laughs> but it's it's lovely if you guys if you guys like um have wooden floor in your homes um try it <laughs> try it if you haven't because it it's pretty fun try running barefoot on on wooden floors um FYI, um, I don't have a wooden floor um, in my room right now. Um, the floor tiles actually appear to be this kind of like gray um, wood-like substance. Uh, if that's if gray wood is even a real thing, but um, it's actually this kind of plasticky synthetic floor tile that doesn't feel anything like real wood at all. Um, but maybe one day I'll be able to live in a house where, um, where they have like this solid dark wood floor, uh, where I can just run around all day barefoot, hopefully someday, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go all day long, uh, talking about these little tiny obsessions of mine that makes me really happy, but, uh, yeah, are they weird? 
just can you guys kind of relate to this though i feel like you guys can like they're satisfying in a way like cats are cute cat teeth are cute as well <laughs> um and like wooden floors they're they're nice why not uh but yeah let me know if it's if it's weird <laughs> at all but yeah but i guess i mean the point that i was trying to kind of get to in this episode was that um i am actually about the big pictures you know all about going after the vision the big goals having aspirations having big dreams and 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 i am actually you know i i'd like to call myself a go get a go get person a go getter um you know i it may not seem like it but i have high standards for myself and uh i have big goals and and i have big plans um that i'd like to go after and and achieve in my life but also at the same time um i also i always kind of try to humble myself uh and remind myself that uh, you know, remind myself to never really take what I already have or have access to for granted. Um, and I think for us go-getters, it's, it's so, so very easy to get into that, like, almost, like, frenzied, like, go, 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 go mindset that it actually sometimes becomes this thing where, it actually, like, it takes away the very fun of going after something. Does that make sense? Like, it's, it certainly does for me, you know? I, I get so, like, tunneled visioned, tunnel visioned on my, on my goals that it, sometimes it's not fun anymore. And that's when I find myself that I need to remind myself, um, I'm saying myself a lot, but that's when I realize, you know, I, I need to really um really need to give myself a fresh perspective um and 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 recalculate things and, and know what's what's important in life um you know i think uh i think that's why so many people nowadays are emphasizing meditation you know um the whole like zen lifestyle and mindfulness um even in the midst of all the some uh, all the somewhat like seemingly quote-unquote important um stuff in life you know things like career and and business etc etc um because it, it you know these things help us stay grounded and and give us a healthier perspective of life and you know the thing the thing that i just did you know counting things that you know counting little things in life that bring bring us a lot of joy um you know life i i, I personally think and this is something that i am telling myself now as as i say it as a reminder um as well but i i don't i don't think life is really as as big of a deal as we make it out to be really um you know so often i'm like oh my god you know if i if i don't get this if i don't get that like if i don't make this if i if i don't make this happen you know if, if i don't work this if i don't work like this like that you know my life is doomed or um i'll be a failure or you know everything is going to be miserable but and yeah, and you know, you know, it's for sure. It's it will be actually really sad if I if I if I don't get to achieve what um, what I'm currently working so 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 hard to achieve. But um, and, and yes, I think there's also beauty. I have to say this that there's also beauty that I think that lies in hustling and and wanting bigger things and achieving achieving better things and and stepping up i think there's absolutely um there's definitely absolute beauty that lies um in in pursuing bigger things in life and i do but i also want to keep in mind that it's 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 okay not to to 
always be achieving, always moving up in life. It's okay. It's okay to actually sit still and enjoy. Um, it's not the end of the world. And also, at the end of the day, we're all humans. Um, we're all inevitably going to die. And I don't mean this in this like morbidly sad way, but more in, in like, you know, we, we don't, you know, it, it's a short life and we, we really don't need very much to achieve that great amount of joy in this very short human life. Um, you know, good fee good people, uh, good food, amazing dessert every once in a while, <laughs> once in a while, um, maybe every day, maybe every meal, every meal for me, for sure. <laughs> um, you know, walking and interacting with, with nature, you know, treating yourself to a new pair of jeans or lovely socks every once in a while, or, you know, laughing, smiling, families, friends, hobbies, you know, um, we can, we can all aspire to be greater, um, and we can all hustle, um, but also we really don't need much to be happy, to find, find joy, I think. Um, yeah, and I think that's, that's the key takeaway, um, that I like for us all to have um, on this episode. Yeah, <laughs> hope you guys find hope you guys found some peace in this, um, and hope you again hope you guys enjoyed your meals. <laughs> um, I kind of almost wish that I could kind of sit down uh, with a meal myself. Um, if any of you guys are actually watching this with a meal, um, let me know. And, and let me know what you're eating with, because I always kind of, and this is actually another thing that brings me a lot of joy. I actually love hearing about what people ate for their like lunch or dinner or breakfast. I I just love hearing about like their like their eating experiences. I don't actually like watching like mukbang itself, but I love like hearing about it and I love talking about food and I'm most certainly going to talk about food at one point on Overthinker Society because it's like a big passion of mine to talk about food. Um, and I think somebody actually like wrote um, on a comment on the last week's episode to, to talk about food and like restaurants. So I'm definitely going to talk about that in the future. Um, maybe next week. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, I actually got a new song that's coming this Friday. Um, for some of you, it might actually be Saturday, depending on the time zone that you're in. But it's called uh, Thank You Song. And it's kind of self-explanatory, I guess. But I wrote it for all of you guys as my little uh, thank you for the crazy growth that, that has happened over the last few weeks. Um, and I, I, and I just, and I just had to, and I just had to write that song. I had to make that song, um, as a gesture of thank you. So I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited for you guys to hear. Um, on that note, <laughs> thank you. And, um, see you guys on the next, next episode. Bye. <laughs>